Hello everybody, it's them and welcome back to my channel. Today's Friday, Friday means Planet Zoo and we are continuing our Red Tail Zoo. Now, last week we um, kind of finished the night house and the night quarters and then I knew that this building, like, it was finished but it wasn't completely finished yet, so I guess technically it wasn't finished. And then um, one of you came with the idea of putting some beams there and I was like, well, let's try that. So I did. And here we are. So before we start with the habitat of today, which will be the red panda habitat, we are actually going to fix the uh, night house just a little bit and make it look way better. Now, this was very tedious work. Um, I did this on stream. Just so you know, um, I do sometimes stream. I have more free time now because my country is, again, in lockdown. So I have a lot of spare time to stream now. So that that's a good thing. The downside is I can't go anywhere. Not, you know, so... That kind of sucks, but anyways. So I did this on stream. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitch, there is a link in the description down below. Same with all the details for all my social media, all down below in the description. Now I have to say, I tried a number of things. First, I wanted to work with the uh, actual logs. Then I tried the plaster pieces, but it all just looked, it didn't fit the style, you know? It just it didn't look good. So we are adjusting it. We are now working with these I believe these are from Asia continent, but I'm not quite sure because I can't read it properly because it's blurry when I edit and do the voiceover. Anywho, so we are doing this. Like, um, I will cut it out though. Like, don't worry. In a moment, we will just put some plants on there because then you have like the entire, well, you know, bridge as a matter of fact over the pathway, but you're not there yet. You need to nicen it up because just with wood, it looks pretty dull. And given we are in a tropical biome, um, foliage will be all around us. I like kind of made up we're somewhere in the rainforest or whatever. Like, I'm still not sure, but we're tropical. Like, that's all we need to know right now. So, we are just placing plants all over the place. So we, here we have these little uh, nestles. They are actually not tropical biome, but that's okay. And I really like the way that it, that it looks. Like, it looks really fun. It looks playful. We are putting it at random, which is very difficult because I'm kind of neurotic and I want things to be the same. So we are placing this all over the place and it's a good exercise for me. Yeah, like, you know, that, that's pretty good. Yeah, you will see that a lot, by the way, me trying to go through the actual, um, well, you know, pathway just to make sure that it doesn't collide with any of the guests and that it actually looks nice. And I think it works out pretty well, to be honest, like in the end, Right now, I was just like, well, you know, it could work. I'm not quite sure, but it looks better and better each time. Uh, well, you know, uh, I think it actually looks looks pretty well. I mean, it fits with the... Like, you have obviously like wooden, the wooden beams. And they kind of fit with the copper, uh, like, geometric shapes on the building. And then you have the green, which obviously matches with the green on the building itself. So I feel like that's actually really good. Ah uh, yeah, more plants. So here we are just rotating this tiny tree because I needed something more similar to a bush. But we are going to change that too. So like, it will be there. We're going to add something more. We're also going to add some things from the Australia pack. I believe this one is from. So we add a little bit of yellow in there just, you know, to break up all the green. We want to have some uh, different colors in there so that it's interesting to look at. Because if you have something that is only green, it becomes very dull. So we're gonna need something there. And I thought, you know what is yellow? That that could be the vibe. And naturally we are adding more, especially in the end, we are adding some um, blue flowers to that. And that really ties it all together. And naturally we are going to place some more uh, greenery on the sides, you know. Don't worry about that here. I'm just looking up trees and looking what I want. And I was thinking maybe I want a dish bush, but it looked ugly, so I didn't want it. So here, well, before we continue with the top, we are just adding these things. I believe these are from the aquatic pack because I've never actually seen them and I really like them. And maybe I'm just blind, that could be as well, but I believe they're from the aquatic pack. So yeah, we're placing them all on the balustrade so you don't actually see the, uh, the wood ends. Because sometimes you have to sink in the boards a little bit, but this way we don't see it. And I feel it looks quite nice. And then also when we are actually placing it on there, it looks really green and nice and it's kind of... Like, it's kind of weird that inside is a nice house because it kind of reminds me of going into, like, a conservatory, like the greenhouse. 
Maybe I should build a greenhouse here as well. Like, that would be really interesting. And I could put some pea files in a greenhouse. That rhymes. There, you see, like that's better. So right now we are starting with our red panda habitat and the red panda habitat is located next to the lemur islands. Now, if you are not familiar with the lemur islands, there will be a playlist at the end of this video and you can watch it. Basically the island you see there on the right, that's lemur islands. And that's all you need to know about it basically. It's an island full of lemurs, but we're not talking about that. We are talking about um, our red pandas for a moment. I forgot the name. Whoa, stressful. Now, bear in mind, like this zoo is not completely laid out yet and there is still a lot to do. And we are building like all over the place, but we are getting there. We are getting there. We are making custom fences. We are changing the color slightly, like a little bit more to reddish brown. And I actually quite like it. And we are building barriers with that, like actual self-made barriers, do-it-yourself barriers and fences, and I'm proud of myself. Of course, um, there is one fatal flaw, which I completely forgot here. Um, these fences are made of wood. We are building a red panda habitat. Red pandas can climb. So I finished the entire fence, like I put it all around, obviously not to the water because the water is a natural barrier for them. And I was just like, crap, they can climb it. That's not good. So I tried multiple things then, like um, I cut it out of the video because I tried for like half an hour to make sure that they can't climb. So I tried placing plants there, it didn't work. Uh, I guess I didn't like the elephant grass all the way. I tried uh, actually building with rocks, but it looked awful. In the end, we will see that in a uh, tiny bit, I believe. In the end, we basically made a water feature, so like this little canal to make sure that the animals can't get over there and then we made a little waterfall as well and I you know in the end it looks pretty good um, I wasn't quite happy with it at the time because I really liked the fencing I was like oh this is so amazing it's gonna be so pretty that's so cool I'm, I'm so clever and here it was when I realized oh they can climb over it so we built a little water ridge made a little water fountain here as well you know just to make sure that it looks nice and it actually looks complete because that is actually quite important and I can tell you that rock work oh uh, I'm I'm naturally very good at rock work and honestly I, uh, I like I'm not afraid to say that of myself but I'm really well with foliage in this game and with rock work and waterfalls I'm like I'm not afraid to say that but the rock work on this side oh my goodness like here with the waterfall it was pretty okay I'm not really happy with it but we will make it better in the end with some foliage in there but then the rock work just along the sides, oh, it took me so much effort. And I just couldn't find out why, it just wasn't happy with it, it didn't look good. It's just, uh, anyway, before we get to all of that, um, I will try to stop complaining about it. But before we get to all of that, we are actually um, working with some plastic pieces because we had like this very big gaping hole, which needed to be fixed. So we are going to make it orangey, like kind, kind of orange color. And that was a really accidental color. I was like, oh, you know what? I actually kind of like this. I'm really quite pleased with this. And we are going to make like, um, like a kind of roof over there just to make sure that the guests don't get wet and they can learn about the red panda. So we are going to make it a little educational system there. You know, just stuff like that, normal, normal stuff. Oh, I'll say normal, like normal for me. And then this zebra uh, print, I thought it was so cute. I was like, you know what, if I make it red, it's, well, it doesn't resemble the red panda's fur, but it looks really cute. And I was like, yep, I'm using that. And in the end, I feel like it really, you know, it, it works good. I, I really quite like it. And that's kind of surprising because I'm a very critical person. But I really like it. And there we are placing some screens. And then we are placing a speaker here as well in the middle. And we are also going to place um, the educational uh, conservation boards, if I believe what it is. And we are going to put one on uh, climate change and the one on deforestation, if I remember correctly. Because, you know, that is quite important, you know, climate change and yeah. So having done that, we are now going on with the rocks 
And this, I just, I'm still not sure if I like it. I might go in and change it. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys feel about that. Um, it looks pretty okay. Like, obviously you have a waterfall, so the rocks here will be kind of mossy. And they will be very green because of all the water that comes splashing onto it. So it will be very slippery. So never walk on those rocks because you will fall and break something. Like, I can tell you that from experience. You will fall and probably break something. I didn't broke anything. Um, I didn't break anything, but yeah, I did fell. So be careful with waterfalls. And here with the rocks, you know, it's more like away from the waterfall, so you get more natural looking rock. But I didn't want to do everything with rock because I didn't feel like that was the vibe. I did want to build a little kind of um, a ramp, sort of speaking, to make sure that the animals can actually drink there. Like obviously they have a normal water drinking uh, tap. But I did feel like, you know what, a natural barrier, natural water, that is kind of nice. And here we are using the elephant grass and we are using it together with a reed, which in English is also called reed, so that's nice. To make it look like um, it's actually natural, you know, it just grows there natural, just you have normal water. And I quite like it. Unfortunately, the red panda was still able to escape on one side of the fence, so in the end we just put a rock there and they weren't able to escape anymore. And we fixed that quite well, even if I say so myself. Now here, rock work, um, I love it. I have to say that I love doing rock work, especially with the little trees and just, you know, you rotate them slightly and then sink them into the floor. And it doesn't look like actual trees. They more, look more like uh, bushes. And I always quite like that. Also, I'm sorry if you could hear my phone going off. Um, like the moment I am recording this, um, I am just also working at home. Because, you know, uh, countries in lockdown again, so I have to work from home now. And as a teacher, that is pretty challenging. It is, uh, it's, it's really not fun, if I can say so as well. But, oh well. Like, we have to make way with the ships we have. I believe that's the saying. With the, with the sails we have. With the ships we have. I'm not sure anymore. Hmm. We have to make way with the, sh with the sails we have, with the ships we have. Oh well. So, you know, if you can hear my phone buzzing, that's uh, probably one of the kids sending a picture of their work so I can grade it. I do appreciate like uh, children and parents sending me their kids' works. You know, can I can see what they do and I can help them and I can give them tips and all. I really do appreciate that. And luckily I have amazing children in my class and they're very nice and they work really hard and they're so enthusiastic. Oh well. Ah yeah, so here you see we are using the purple to break up the green because otherwise you have a lot of green and a lot of green is boring. It just is. So you need some different colors, like either some variations in the green, but you also have a lot of very bright flowers in the game, like these purple ones or even like the, the small ones that we just used. You also have those blue ones in there. And you have purple ones, which I believe um, I'm looking for right now, but I can't really find. But in a moment we will find, yeah, these ones. I don't know what they're called, but they're really good for breaking out the green and making it look pleasing to the eye. Because just green isn't really pleasing to the eye. You need some variation in that. You know, think of uh, think about yourself. Like if you have your bedroom and it's all one color. It gets pretty plain and it gets pretty boring. You're gonna need that feature wall, so one wall that's different. Same goes to nature. Like you can have a lot of the same different colors of green, and that's completely fine. But use something that breaks the color, like either some rock work or some bright flowers. Or even a statue, you know, something that breaks up the same color. That's why I use that little bridge in here as well, because it breaks up the color. It's not that I like the bridge, it's not that I Know, could really incorporate it correctly because the terrain tools weren't going my way so I cut that bit out but in a moment you'll see that we suddenly have water and a bridge it took quite a while to be honest I'm very proud of that I did succeed in that you know it just breaks up the room and it's you know it's good it breaks up all the space it breaks up you know your point of view it just it shows you something different and I feel like that's good so what we're doing here, we are going to make a little, um, well I say little, it's going to be actually quite big. We're going to make a shelter for our red pandas and I want it to be very climbable, accessible for them. So we're using all these logs and just making sure that they fit correctly. 
Now I did cut some of it out, not all of it, because I felt like it was actually pretty darn interesting the way that I did this. And I'm, I'm sure people won't agree with that, but I quite liked it. And I'm actually really glad with it, the way it turned out. I don't know why, I just, you know, I feel like all those logs and they're, they're up in the sky. Well, not really that high, but you know, for, for the animals, it's up pretty high. And they can only access it with actual uh, ropes or climbing over some more logs. I do feel like it's just, you know, I like it. And I keep saying that, but I really do. And I'm quite proud of it that I like, um, I don't want to say I invented it, but I came up with the idea because I wanted to do something different for the red panda. And I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. And I was like, well, I could do a very big Japanese style home. And I was like, yeah, but nothing in this zoo is really Japanese style. And I don't really want to get into that because then I have to do it on other habitats as well. And I just didn't want to do that. And then I was like, what if I make it very natural? Because this is a very natural looking zoo anyways. So let's just make it more natural with a lot of woodwork. Probably should have called this the Woodland Zoo. <laughs> well, I do believe that Rat Tail Zoo. Um, oh, I almost said rat. I meant red, red tail zoo. Um, it is a very natural looking zoo. I mean, like in my point of view, it is a very natural looking zoo. We're using a lot of nature, a lot of nature colors. We could probably go a lot more modern. And there are some buildings where I go like pretty darn modern, if I say so myself. You know, it's a the glass uh, dome which we built for the gharial and the um, exhibits animals and then obviously the night house that we did you know those are actually quite modern if I say so myself and I'm quite happy with those but I do feel like this is more my building style or at least this is what I'm more comfortable with and I don't necessarily know if I want it to be my style as well because I do like all the modern things and if I see other creators building things I'm like whoa how did you even come up with that I can't even come up with a normal you know cabin and people built so amazing things you know that's one of the reasons I started to do zoo tours one I think it's fun to make videos reason two um I think it's fun to look at other people's creation and you know, I have I have a community, like we're small, but we're there, we're present. So let's uh let's hear, let let us hear our voice. Wow. This is this is a really bad inspirational speech. I just wanted to like show or let people have the opportunity to show their creations. That's what I'm going at. You know, and whether they submit it or not, you know, sometimes I just find amazing stuff in the gallery and I just feel the need to showcase it, like last week with the Galaxy Zoo. I found it on the gallery, wow. So if you haven't seen that, go watch it. It's on my channel, just make sure you do. Oh look, spontaneous water has suddenly arrived. Very tricky, very tricky indeed, like not kidding there. And now we are just filling up the terrain, you know, making sure it actually looks nice, a little bit of green. We do want to be able to see the red panda, uh, so we are gonna put foliage in there, but not too much, like a little more to the back. Ooh, fun story. Like I just, this just reminded me um when i was in rome last year and i say last year i mean like 2019 um i went to the zoo there and the red panda habitat was throughout the entire zoo like they actually walked through the entire zoo and that was so cool they were just like above my head and i was like wow i'm standing underneath the red panda and they were just looking at me like why are you here human Please don't, please don't look at me. Like, and all these people were trying to find them. And I was just like, well, they're up there. I'm not telling anyone because then pe people will like point and yell. Maybe they'll go away. And I was just sitting on a bench, you know, watching at my red pandas. I love red pandas. They're one of my favorite wildlife animals. After primates, of course. I mean, gorillas are my all time favorites. But red pandas are pretty high up my list. Like, pretty darn high. Anyways, like uh, going back to the actual builds, you see like we're using those uh, trees with the red, it breaks up the green. It makes it look actually uh, pretty nice in my opinion, and it breaks it up. So here we are placing some educational um, boards and sounds at the ends, and we are going to make a little overhang still, you know, to make sure if it rains you're still dry, you know, all that sort of nonsense. Well, I mean, not really nonsense, but... 
we got to build it like we want to make it look pretty realistic and you know we don't want our educational and conversation boards to get wet so here we are using these very big glass pieces and we are basically just using them to create our little I'm not, sure, I'm not really sure what the name is. I don't want to call it ceiling, a roof like overhang, sort of saying, you know, something like that. Anyways, uh, we are obviously going to um, make it better. Like we are going to use the wood, the wooden beams, which we also used in the fence. We are going to make them, well, make them use. We are going to use them all over this, just to make it have that little bit of texture to make it look more in unity with the actual habitat. And I have to say that I quite like the way that it turned out. Anyways guys, it is almost time for the cinematics. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what your favorite bit was, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel, it helps the YouTube algorithm, and it makes my videos like more known on YouTube. So if you would do that, that'd be great. There will be some cinematics in a bit, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and you have a lovely, wonderful uh, evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are on this earth, and I will hope to see you on the next video. Bye, guys.